My name's Leo. I'm an associate professor at the physiotherapy school at Swinburne University in Melbourne. I've worked at Curtin University for about 15 years before going to Melbourne. And so this conference being in Perth, uh, it's very exciting to be back here. And I'm actually the chair of the conference as well. So it's exciting to see that so many people are attending to this conference. So the key theme for this particular presentation is to actually understand how physiotherapists can work with artificial intelligence. My belief is that um, physiotherapists can benefit from the use of AI as long as we have an understanding of how artificial intelligence work and also the limitations and the compliance issues that's associated with it. So I know that there are lots of people really excited about artificial intelligence saying, oh, I want to use this, I want to use this, this is helping me, this is helping me. That's great, it can, but there's also the other side where if you're using this for patients, where's the data going? Where's the privacy? Where's the security? Who can crack into the system to actually publish and benefit from it illegally. I'm hoping that in this particular presentation people have an understanding of how artificial intelligence work, how it can benefit physiotherapists and how the limitations can be addressed so that we can all use it ethically and professionally to benefit profession and and also the community. So I'm going to be doing a plenary session on the focus of artificial intelligence and how it will affect physiotherapists in all aspects of physiotherapy, such as clinical practice, leadership and business, and also in education, because AI does influence physiotherapists in a number of ways. AI is really important to physiotherapy because in everything we do in our roles, we have administrative work, we have clinical work, AI can and um, will change how we do things. And for some aspects, and the aspects I really like, is that it can improve the effectiveness and also the efficiency of how we do things. And given that in physiotherapy, there's a crisis in the number of physiotherapists in Australia, there's not enough physiotherapists, and there are lots of people I'm hearing that are overworked and feel underpaid. What if AI can actually help with our workload so that it, we can still do what we do best, seeing our patients, but what if it can reduce our administrative tasks such as uh, patient note writing, such as the administrative booking appointments, and what if there are also systems that can help us with clinical reasoning to act as a double check in what we do. It's already happening in other fields like uh, radiology, in uh, so reading scans, it's happening a lot in education. AI is implanted in everywhere around our environment and it's important for physiotherapists to understand, adapt to what we do, make sure we use it ethically and make sure that it can benefit us as physiotherapists and also the people we treat, the, our community. So how I think AI will impact physiotherapists is that the number one thing I want to mention is that I don't think AI will replace what we do as physiotherapists, especially in the clinical work. If given a choice, a patient will always want to see a physiotherapist for their back pain, for their stroke, for their heart and lungs over an artificial intelligence software or hardware. So uh, I believe that AI will not be replacing us in the near future and I don't think it will replace us in the far future, as, uh, into the distant future as well. However, I think it will affect us in improving what we do immediately in terms of, I think more and more people are now uh, using artificial intelligence systems to write patient notes. There are more and more artificial intelligence systems to help us with a clinical diagnosis, and there are now starting to have more artificial intelligence systems to help us with planning intervention and exercise. I think how people and physiotherapists will use that is that they will use their output from the artificial intelligence to challenge what they're thinking. So basically having a peer to review what you're doing, at the end of the day, I think it will still be the human, the physiotherapist, that will decide what is the best uh, treatment for the patient. That's how I think uh, AI will affect physiotherapists in the short term. Artificial intelligence is changing higher education in a huge way. Already in physiotherapy, we are seeing that a lot of people are changing the assessments because there are times where if we are giving an assignment, uh, someone using artificial intelligence may be able to use the AI to write the particular assignment. I would like to think that there are lots of benefits to artificial intelligence, so I don't want to just focus on the negatives that comes out of artificial intelligence. We have now created a system where we can train physiotherapists to speak to uh, a AI system, ChatGPT, the app, and they can practice interview, so verbal interview. This is usually something that's done in the past where we have to hire actors to speak 
to our physiotherapy students, but now AI can do it so that we can train our students to be more empathetic and be better communicators. AI can also help educators. There are now systems where it can uh, summarize research articles from instead of having to read 30 minute, uh, a 30 minute article, you can actually listen to a podcast in nine minutes and it's in an entertaining format. So educators can actually learn more quickly and that will benefit of course the students as well. And AI can also help with designing classes, they can create games, they can give individualized and also personalized and group feedback for the class. So if you give a multiple choice test, an AI system can see, hey, your students are not doing well in questions six, nine, and 15. These are actually questions on low, low back pain. And so they can give you feedback that, hey, as an educator, maybe you need to spend a little bit more time on that. And I know that AI is helping with marking papers as well and marking assignments. And yeah, in terms of assessments, I believe that in the near future, AI can help with marking practical exams as well. I know this is a, a, a challenging task for a lot of academics because it's usually a whole week where they have to mark eight hours a day and it's very tiring. What if AI can help? I don't think it's here yet, but I think this is something that's coming up in the future.